What's happening everybody? Trey here, joined as always by my dad Sean, and today a reaction to the classics. We're going to be reacting to a gal named Jessica Lee Mayfield and her track, I'll Be the One You Want Someday. This comes courtesy of a suggestion from our patron and longtime supporter, our friend here, Becca. Becca, looking forward to this one. I've never heard of Jessica Lee Mayfield, and uh, you know that's why I love going through and uh, uh, having such an eclectic community here at RTTC, you get to listen to stuff that uh, has never come across uh, come across your ears before, and yeah. that, that's why I like it, man. And if y'all enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that big red subscribe button, and if you would maybe like us to react to a tune, you can check out our Patreon link down below. Shout out to the patrons who keep this channel rocking For and sure. rolling, as well as our Facebook and uh, Discord and all that good stuff. But uh, I uh, don't know too much about Jessica Lee, but I know that she's from uh, near the area. Becca is from uh, Kent, uh, Ohio. Yeah, she is. And this comes off her second album. She's got an interesting story. She started performing with her family's bluegrass group mm. when she was just eight years old. Then at 15, she recorded her first album under the moniker Chitling, produced by her brother David Mayfield, okay. printing only a few hundred copies. But somehow of those few hundred copies... One of them got in the hands of Dan Auerbach of the Black Keys. He Ooh. loved it, brought her in, did her debut album. Took him two years. They did it in his home studio. He had a nice quote about her that's kind of a, is near and dear mm. to us because he said of the recording experience, I think she's dark and moody in a mysterious way, not unlike Nick Cave in the bad uh. scenes. But we've done two top tens for very familiar. He has, I'm just always really excited to make music with her. That was her first album in 08. Mm. This is off the 2011 album. It is the album opener. It's a short song. Uh, so I'm curious. I, I imagine she's going to make it count. Ooh. All right, y'all. We're going to have our, the lyrics pulled up on our uh, respective computers here. Uh, listen and enjoy the tune. And then afterwards... Give our thoughts. Thanks again, Becca. I'll be the one you want someday. Wow. Uh, yeah, just taking that song in while I was listening to it because, man, I, I really enjoyed that one because it uh, it was very unique because it had the, the heavy guitars in there. Love the tones, but she has a uh, very distinct voice. Heavy drawl on it. Yeah, heavy drawl, yeah, and a, and a long delivery. Mm -hmm. 
on the words. Uh, yeah, I thought the instrumentation was great. The lyrics are very interesting, Mr. Counselor Man. Um, mm, that's right. What do you think she's talking about? Specifically in I Have a Dream and the Dream is Perfection. I have a dream that lives so mm. far away. I'd hold your hand, but you do not want me. I'll be the one that you want someday. So mm. is her dream of perfection a relationship or wishing that her, her herself was Ooh. perfection because, you mm. know, my own uh, relapsing, I, I'm entering my own dark ages. I start relapsing mm. towards emptiness. Yeah, so man, that's... what do you think? Well, yeah, and that that is an interesting point. That I have a dream, and the dream is perfection. I have a dream that lives so far away. Um, I'll hold your hand, but you do not want to want me. Uh, is the dream possibly also a, a, a love interest? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah is it the relationship, mm. or is it her own looks? And then, of course, she ends the middle and the last uh, verses with all I can think about are things I should mm. not do. So... Uh, no, de- de- definitely had a dark, brooding uh, nature to the track, man. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards it being about the relationship, relationship. but uh, I maybe I, both. I like, and I think that kind of highlights her strength already here as a, a songwriter. Though I always enjoy tracks that can have multiple different interpretations. Well, you're coming in with a very deep track to start this oh, thing off with this album because well, it's the opener, as I said. Yeah, and I mean, I can definitely though see you know the the it being about her own kind of mental struggle as well her Although inner a failed relationship mm. can take you down that road Exa- so it could be both yeah kind of a blend a yeah, um and for sure i like that my brain is speeding faster than my mouth can move kind of again set you into that anxiety ridden mm-hmm. which uh, reflected the guitar that was playing at that moment uh for for sure but then she uh, you know brings a contrast i'll sit still and silently observe the room so you go from speeding faster in the brain and then, oh, I'm just going to sit still, observe the room, and think about all the things I should not do. Ain't that the truth, Jessica, right there? Yeah. Uh, I, I dug this one, man. I'm feeling off of first listen to solid uh, seven and a half to seven, seven, five for me. Definitely piqued my interest for uh, more of what uh, Miss Mayfield has to offer here. Yeah, I'll agree with you. I'm kind of right there with you. I'll be at a 7.25. Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting all the way around. Lyrically, mm-hmm. delivery, vocally. And then instrumentally, even though yeah. there's not a ton of instrumentation uh, as far as a variety of instruments, a fantastic, uh, this all goes together to yeah. form the mood of this song. So great suggestion, Beck. And not that I expect it yeah. anyway, you always bring really good suggestions. Yeah, let us know, y'all, what you think of this track down in the comments below. It's always that appreciate it. And until next time, thanks for watching. Happy listening, and we will see ya.